Yo guys, what's up? It's Ryan from Tower Reviews, and today I've got I finally got my ninety nine dollar HP touchpad. I ordered it. You ordered late it August. It was around yeah, August last week of August twenty second, I think. It was the like day of the earthquake, right around the cutoff for um. Day of the earthquake. Right off, right around the edge of the cutoff for being able to get one because the people after that their orders were canceled. Like mine. Yeah, so I got it. It's pretty nice, but. Uh, there's really no reason to show you the hardware or the operating system because most of you know it. So if you don't already know, you can go look up another video. But um, I I got it I got it yesterday and I put Android on it immediately. So I thought I'd just show you it. Right now I'm still running WebOS as you can see here. It's a pretty nice operating system. The only downfall of it is it's a little buggy because it just came out and the app catalog is uh it's very you can't really find anything you want. So I'm going to reset it. And if you're interested in doing this, it's a pretty easy process. There's a lot of good tutorials out there, but try to do one that's relatively recent. I did one from about a week ago. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy though. So it gives you options here. So if you just let it sit on whatever one it, it launches it, it's the Cyanogen mod. So here is Android on the touchpad. It's pretty nice. Um, the main reason I want it is because you can get a lot, of, uh, a lot more apps that you can't get on WebOS. But it's not like I just don't feel like I'm actually running Android because it doesn't have a lock screen, as you can see here. I'm not sure if that's a setting. I've never used Android before, so I'm not that familiar with it. And some apps weren't working, like Twitter. It it said like activation failed or something. I don't understand that at all. But as far as I can tell, everything else works pretty well. Show you the app marketplace. And it loses my Wi Fi every time for some reason. I, uh, if you stay on it though, if you run Android all the time, it, sh it, it seems to work a lot better. I've only used it for a day, as I've already said. So. so, yeah, Wi Fi is off for some reason. For some reason, it always says disconnected. I don't really know why. See, it always says it's not responding for some reason. So these are just some of the errors you're gonna have when you when you switch back and forth between them. Again, that didn't happen when I just stayed on Android, which is probably what a lot of people are looking to do anyway. So uh, overall, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Let me show you how to get back to WebOS. It's pretty. It's a lot cleaner than getting onto Android. You just go reboot, and then you can choose to go to uh, WebOS. Oh, okay. And that just reboots and you will be in WebOS when it wakes up. If you guys want to see anything specifically, just leave a comment and I'll try to get that out for you. Alright, thanks for watching.